Big Daddy Robbie Longlegs there. He is the man. He's the man. He's the man. Thank you for your warm hand on my opening. The clap I so richly deserve. I'd like to warn you about these jokes. There's more to come. We're going to do uh, songs, songs from the good old days when the men were men and the sheep were nervous. A song from the last depression, just in time for the next one. <laughs> Actually, things have got really bad. Oh, thank you. Uh, that's fabulous, Richard. Uh, things have got really, really bad uh, recently in the, in, the, in the world the financial situation, the global financial crisis. Uh, I believe it's got so bad that the Salvation Army has surrendered. <laughs> I just realised I've got the wrong harmonica, Albert. Okay. But anyway, you can follow you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook. You can't follow me on Twitter. No, I don't even understand it. I believe that uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube has merged with Twitter, has merged with Facebook. It's now called You Twitface. I get confused. I'm always trying to upload my tube onto your face, but it doesn't work. So, so. Anyway, I'm just, just plugging along in here. Um, I don't understand Twitter either. I always thought that Twitter was the space between the twat and the shitter. Anyway, whenever I look online, I just see underpants and socks. Uh, here's a song, as I said, from the last depression. I'm just making an adjustment. Okay, this is a song about love and business, the business of love, in fact, written in 1929, before the, just before the last crash.
German, he can speak English too, he's really terrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just used to hold signs up. <laughs> Take it away, Rob. Thank you. 
such romantic illusions and they're all play with Maureen and all those vaudeville stars, but he ended up as the, the Wizard of the World Itza at the State Theatre in Sydney. Marvellous. And we're going to do an old song that he probably might have played, I don't know if he did or not. Um, his my, one comment about my band when they were very young was um, he, he listened to the band and said, oh, great rhythm. <laughs> I think that was sort of a sort of backhanded compliment, or I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm just going to put on my... Okay. I don't know how many people here can remember the Captain Matchbox Whoopi Band. Yeah. I can't. I, 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 I was too stoned at the time. But uh, I, I, um, I don't take drugs anymore, of course. Um, these days, I don't need to. I just find if I stand up quickly, it does the same thing. And, uh, the last joint that I rolled was a, was my ankle. Actually. No, no, I smoked so much dope in the 1970s that Bob Marley had a t-shirt on me. <laughs> uh, I know a bloke who, uh, who sniffed a whole packet of curry powder. He ended up in a corner. I know another bloke who uh, is addicted to brake fluid, but he reckons he could stop any time. <laughs> I just love these jokes, so I can't tell you. Uh, I didn't invent any of them. Uh, you know, when I, I told them that when I was young, I said, look, I really want to be a, a comedian. And they laughed. <laughs> but they're not laughing now. This is a, a song that was a... Off an old 78 that I used to have, and uh, then it became a hit for us many years ago with the, the Whoopi band. It's called My Canary Has Circles Under Us.
instant dislike to you. Uh, I guess they just save time. <laughs> uh, Mr. Rabbit, I think it's time for you to get back into the hat. I oh, know, not the hat. Oh yes, the hat. I oh, know, not the hat. Oh, oh yes, the hat. I oh, know, not the hat. Oh yes, the hat. Anything but the hat. <laughs> Anything but the hat? Tragic. <laughs> Another song by one of my favourite artists, the Hoosier Hot Shots. Anyone heard of them? <laughs> okay, this is a, it's not a song about do it yourself love. <laughs> <laughs> Too much information. Too much information, that's right. I can get more information, I, I should give a plug to the, uh, the book. Where I, there's been a book written about me and my brother, <coughs> and uh, it was launched a couple of weeks ago at Camelot where we did, it's called uh, Captain Matchbox and Beyond, and we do have copies of it.